Hi, this is uh, Bob from Hobby Concepts. Here today with my trusty office assistant, Winston. We'll, uh, we'll put Winston down for a minute. Um, we're going to continue with our series on the FlySky PL18 EV radio. I know this is a kind of a limited uh, audience. It really only applies to people who have this radio. But if you've got this radio, like I do, you want to find out all these cool little features, this is hopefully a good way to do it. Now, I've had a lot of questions. Okay, FlySky only makes 12 channel receivers, but I have an 18 channel radio. How can I take advantage of all those channels? Well, I've got a simple trick to chain receivers together um, so you can get all 18 channels. It's pretty easy to do. Um, it works great. It's, uh, it's, it's easy. I'll show you how to do it today. Let's get started. So what I'm going to show here today is how to uh, get a receiver with more channels. Since we have an 18 channel transmitter, and the biggest receiver I've seen around for these is 12, uh, it's nice to have receivers where you can take advantage of all 18 channels. So here's how you do it. Now I've got, I've got a 12 channel receiver, an 8 channel receiver, a battery pack to power the receivers, a couple of servos so we can just test and see what's going on, and then I have this patch cable, which is basically like a servo extension cable but it's got a male on each end. Uh, you can make these by you know I guess cutting a couple of servo extensions and soldering together. Um, I sell them. Uh, it's called a beer patch cable. Um, you can probably find them on eBay or Amazon but you need a cable like this to hook the two receivers together. So here's how you do it. First thing you do is you bind we're going to start with a 12 channel receiver. Um, the, the 12B and the 10B will work for this, but what we're going to do is we're going to change this from a receiver to a PWM converter. And in order to do that, first thing we do is bind it. So we'll press the bind button. We'll power it up. It's in the bind mode. We're going to go to receiver setup and we're going to go bind with the receiver. Okay, and it'll bind just fine with the receiver. The next thing we want to do is uh, set to PWM converter. Okay, so we'll press that, and it's going to ask you which receiver, the FR10 or the FR12. This is a 12, so we're going to set it. It's going to give us a little warning that says after you do this, it won't be a receiver anymore. There is a way to set it back, and I'm going to show you that at the end. So we're going to go yes, and it will take this and turn it into a converter. That just takes a couple seconds. Signal lost. Okay, yes, we know the signal's lost. Okay, the next thing we have to do is take our 8 channel receiver and bind it. So we're going to press the bind button. Plug it in, and we'll go to RX setup, and we'll go bind with the receiver, and it'll bind. Okay, now we take our patch cable, and we find the slot on this receiver marked NPA. We plug it in there, and the negative goes that direction. Okay, and then we find NPA on this uh, converter now. NPA is right there. Negative goes that direction. You can see now they both have power. Now the next step is to go to RX protocol and switch it over to IBUS. Okay, now we now have, I think, a 16 channel receiver. So let's take a uh, servo, change the battery plug to this end, and plug a servo into channel 1. Now I made a handy little cheat sheet here that says channel 1 is the right stick up and down, and sure enough, we've got that working. So now this is channels 1 through 7, so the bottom one here is now channel 8, so we'll plug a servo in there. My handy cheat sheet says channel 8 is the upper right hand rear switch. 
by gosh that works channel 16 go up here to 16 is the switch right here okay so there's channel 1 through channel 16 now you can get 18 channels by hooking like a, a 12 and a 10 I think a, tw a 12 and an 8 will give you 16 channel but channels but that's how you get a receiver with more channels by by using one as a um, SW converter it kind of gives you some flexibility in mounting too because you could use a longer cable if you wanted and uh, mount them in you know various parts of your equipment okay so that's all that's all you do that's how you get a multi-channel receiver now as I mentioned we'll unplug a few things here this receiver is now not a receiver it's an SWM converter if you want to use it as a receiver again sometime in the future here's how you do that you press the bind button and you plug it in signal lost yes we know the signal's lost and you hold it down until the light comes on and I don't think I held it down good let's press the button there It'll take a minute for the light to come on. There we go. Okay. Now you go to RX Setup and you scroll all the way down here to Receiver Update. Okay, and then you scroll to the receiver that you've got, FR12B, and then press Update it'll say to connect the receiver which we did and press OK and now this will turn it back into a receiver again okay so now we can just bind it and use it as a regular receiver well there you go how to get multi-channel uh, receivers or way multi-channel receivers for your FlySky EV18 uh, radio and uh, I'll have more videos on, on technical things for this for this radio. I know it's not a wide audience. That's okay. Uh, if you've got one of these radios, I want to try and help you get the most out of it. So, uh, so there's a good one. Um, more coming. Uh, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and uh, subscribe to my channel. And we'll uh, see you next time. Thanks for watching.